Now, Megan Kelly, we do love her work. Uh, she appears on Sky News Australia regularly. She spoke at Trump's Pennsylvania rally earlier today and she explained why she's voting for Donald Trump. I do want to tell you the main reasons I am voting for Donald Trump. Number one, immigration. He mentioned it. And people like Lake and Rowley. I'll be thinking about her tomorrow all day. 22 years old, killed in Georgia, a young nursing student by an illegal. I'll be thinking about Jocelyn Nungare, 12 years old, in Texas, murdered by two Venezuelan illegals. President Trump closed the border. Kamala Harris opened it by choice. It wasn't accidental. She said it would be humane. That's what she and her boss believed. Tell it to Lake and Riley's family. There was nothing humane about it. He closed it. They opened it. It was an intentional choice, and there's no reason not to believe they won't do it again. Erin, uh, Megan is fearless. She has clashed with Donald Trump in the past, but in 2024, she is 100% behind him. Well, I think this immigration issue is going to be a big one, and also the economy. No matter what Joe Biden used to scream at us on the television, how he's created the best economy in the U.S. history, we go to the gas pump, we go to the grocery store, prices are completely out of control. And what I think is so ironic about liberal women saying, we need to protect our young girls, you know, my body, my choice. Don't women have the choice to be able to ride the subway to work without being mugged or worse? Don't women like Lake and Riley, who were in med school or nursing school, have the choice to take a run without being brutally murdered? Women need to be safe in our country and with this illegal immigration crisis that has touched all 50 states, women are not safe. And both of those two issues are really directly impacting women. Most of women, let's face it, are the primary ones that are having to go to the grocery store and seeing that one bag of groceries has almost quadrupled in price. So I think this is another example of how we're just chipping away at that Democrat base. Erin Elmore, thank you so much for your time this evening.